The media is in a craze feeding frenzy once again. The target this time is the Reverend Jeremiah Wright, who is the former senior pastor of the Trinity United Church of Christ located in Chicago, of which Barack Obama is a member. If you bought into what the media is reporting, you'd think that Reverend Wright is an anti-Semitic, crazed right-wing extremist, and most people have fallen for it. Most of the news commentators that I watch uh, at night have completely fallen for it. What's really happening here is the old shell game. It's a uh, sleight of hand, uh, and the media is basically conducting it. And many people are being fooled by what's happening here because, again, we're not reading, we're not careful in what we're doing, we're not studying. Uh, we're watching television for most of our information, and we know television is a dumbed-down media where you don't get a lot of information. What the media has really created is what I'm calling Obama trauma. They're trying to create this, this idea that Obama's somehow tied to this extremist, crazy pastor, and he's got to separate himself totally. Uh, believe it or not, this is a man that uh, took the young Obama in, led him to being a Christian, and probably, as Obama called him a father figure, uh, helped him get where he's at today. Why are we seeing this happen? Well, I think, first of all, uh, it's a form of racism. Uh, any social commentator that uh, is reasonable and is up on the facts knows that America is still a very clearly divided and at, at root either subtly overtly racist nation. I would challenge people to read in entirety the uh, speech he gave at the National Press Club uh, on the last week of April uh, and the questions and how he answered those and also uh, the Bill Moyers interview he did on PBS. Uh, a long interview, detailed questions are asked. You get an entirely different picture of this man than you do from what the media is saying about him. Once I watched the Bill Moyers interview, read the transcript of the Moyers interview, uh, looked at parts of his sermon, uh, that the controversial summit he did seven or eight years ago that they called all this information up for, I get an entirely different picture of this gentleman. In fact, I came away nodding in agreement with much of what he had to say. Not everything. Some of the things he had to say are, are, are far out, but really what other members of the black community have been saying for a long time. People who speak truth to power, and they're, as we know the Bible's full of them, uh, from John the Baptist to Jesus, find themselves in a lot of trouble. Wright is really in that tradition uh, as a Christian pastor. And uh, he's very similar in what he stands for, really, uh, to what Martin Luther King stood for. He was also vilified for it. It's against injustice, against bigotry, against racism, against hatred, against war, and all the things that most decent people should be against. Another reason is why we're seeing this attack on Pastor Wright is political correctness has again raised its ugly head. Uh, he's saying things clearly out of the mainstream that are quite controversial. But we as Americans have the First Amendment. We have a right to freedom of speech and the First Amendment. We have a right to say what we believe no matter what. And because someone stands up and speaks outside the mainstream, in my opinion, to attack them and malign them like that they have done this particular fellow and take his remarks out of context is totally un-American.